Welcome to FileFlows. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the initial configuration. First, we need to accept the end user license agreement. Next, we'll choose which plugins to download. This determines the types of files we'll process. In this tutorial, we will select video, image, discord, and audio plugins to install. In this example, we're using Docker, which includes the configuration of Docker mods. Docker mods allow us to install additional packages into our Docker container for use in a flow. After finishing the initial configuration, we will be presented with the new flow wizard. This wizard guides us in creating a flow. In this example, we will create a flow that converts image files. Select the image group. Now select convert image and click next. Enter a name for this flow. Select the format to convert images to. In this tutorial, we will use WEBP. Set where to save the converted image. Now save the flow, and we will be taken to the flow editor where we can customize our flow. If we edit the image convert flow element, we can adjust the quality of the saved image and set a custom color to use for the flow element. Next, we will add a Discord flow element to send a notification after a file is converted and moved. You generally would not want to do this after every file, but this demonstrates how to send a notification. Connect the first output from the move file flow element to the input of the Discord flow element. Now we can save our flow and create a library to use this flow. Click Libraries, then click Add to create a new library. Select the Image Library template. Set the path to the location of files you want to process. Select the flow we just created to process this library with. Click Save. Now we have a flow and a library configured. File flows will start processing image files through our flow. That concludes the basic setup of file flows. Thanks for watching.